we are now joined by UFC light heavyweight Mike Rodriguez. Our first question goes to Gabriel Gonzalez with Kate Side Press. Hey, Mike. So this is your hey. So this is your first fight of the pandemic. What's it like going into this one after you've gotten to hear everybody talk about what it's going to be like, the quarantine, the testing, etc. Uh, it's. I mean, I just, I just adapted with it. It wasn't like, like I've heard guys being like, "Oh, I'm just pain in the ass." And blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, you know, just, just go with the flow. It's easy if you just listen to what you're being told what to do and just do it, and it'll be an easy process for us just to, like, just trying to be a pain in the ass. That's how I've been dealing with it. Being in there, is there anything different than what you've expected? Um, compared to what everybody, everybody before me was telling me about it, nah, it's just exactly the way they said it was going to be. What does Marcin Pracnio bring that makes him a dangerous opponent? Uh, he has that, that unique karate style, kind of like a, uh, like a, like, kind of like a Machida type of, I can say Machida's name, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a Machida thing, uh, where he's, uh, like point karate, like he's always, he darts in, darts out, you know, things of that nature. So that's, that's the big threat that he brings. Did you bring anybody or do anything specific in camp to kind of prepare for that style? Yeah, I used my buddy, uh, Ross Levine, who actually, if I'm not, I'm not sure, I think he competed against Patrono in during like, uh, during that karate era, like their karate days, um, because he's a point karate guy as well. And he, um, he helped me out big time. He was the main, my main sparring partner. Because of COVID and everything, I couldn't really use many other guys. So I just mainly use him to spar with. So he was the guy. Uh, have you thought about how you're able to celebrate a victory like this? Because obviously, you know, Vegas half open, half closed and everything else. And this would be a big win for you. Yeah, man. I, um, yeah, I thought about it. It's going to do what I'm what I plan on, do, but I've been doing this whole time. Go back in my room playing uh, Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go for it, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Our next question is from Rodney James Edgar with MMASoldier.net. Hey, what's going on, my man? What's happening? Hey, we talked to your um, your opponent earlier, you know, and and he, he's coming off of a long layoff. And if you look at his resume, you know, he went on, uh, I want to say like a nine or ten fight win streak before suffering two back-to-back -back KOs. So, Clearly, um, he is in a, uh, you know, his back's against the wall in that position. Do you, and, because typically when we see people come in that have that burden, they they tend to take more risks because they, at this point, it's like they got to go for broke. Do you think that makes him more dangerous or do you think the layoff will kind of offset that? Um, I, I didn't really look at, well, yes, I do think he is going to be more reckless and more dangerous because of his, because of the way he sits at, and I, I'm, I feel like I'm in kind of the same boat as he is too. So uh, we're definitely both gonna try to fucking bring it as much as possible. But in terms of the layoff, I, I'm assuming I'm gonna, you know, be optimistic. What I've been thinking is that he clearly has grown within the two years. I hope he hasn't like took the two years and just been kicking his kicking his feet back. I hope he's been growing and working. So I'm expecting a different fighter from his last outing when he fought before. Yeah, I mean, to your point, we've seen we've seen some folks do that come away, you know, two years GSP after four years, you know, and and look yep. outstanding. So, uh, yeah, that's a that's a good point. Um, I had one follow up question for you, and I just lost my train of thought. Damn it! All right then, I guess that's it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, been a long day. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> That's all we have for you today, Mike. Thank you. That's it. All right, guys. Thank you. You guys have a good one. Stay safe. Well